Good, how about you? Well, I mean, I don't know about the rest of these guys, but I'd like to know, did you and your father ever play? And if you <laughs> did play, what happened? Um, we played, but he says it wasn't he wasn't playing for real, but I beat him ten to three. Um and then we never played like our real official game. He just he chickened out on me, so I guess the world will never know. What does it mean by he, he it wasn't for real on his part? Who knows? I mean he was playing hard, I was playing hard, but Pop say he wasn't he wasn't playing for it, I guess, so you know, but we all know. I beat him. Hey, Jabari, uh, which players are you most looking forward to playing against this season and why? Um, most looking forward to playing against, it's like, it's hard to just choose one because every player has his, has, his, has his thing. But I would say LeBron for sure, just, just for me um, watching him growing up, um, looking up to him a little bit. So I would say LeBron and um, probably KD, just watching him grow, growing up. How much excitement is it and anticipation do you have leading up to the season? You know, you played in a summer league, but mm -hmm. now this is about to be for mm -hmm. real. Um, just just being with my teammates and, and playing playing against them for so long, it's just I'm just ready to get out there and play against somebody else and and and, c and compete with them. You know what I mean? I feel like we're bonding, we're we're getting close, so I'm just I'm just ready to get out there and compete with them and really, really, really step foot in the NBA for real of a look at your teammates, the veterans, in addition to the summer league guys. Where do you think you fit? And how has that, mm -hmm. if it has changed from when mm -hmm. you first got drafted and mm -hmm. then summer league? Um, I feel like I fit, I fit right in, you know what I'm saying, with my defense, my versatility. Um, I feel like um, with me being able to play the five, me being able to play the four, um, I feel like I'll be able to help with spacing, being able to space the floor for, for, for Jalen, for KP for, for for our guys to work and also just just adding that spark on offense and just overall playing hard and just my my, my will to win will, will will help us tremendously. How much are you looking forward to just being on this team with so many young guys that are mm -hmm. hungry and you know looking to help turn this thing around after a couple of tough seasons? Um, it's actually fun because it's like um, I have a lot of peers, you know, so it's like we all are going through the same things off the court, kind of. Um, so. Like on the court, just just growing with them, you know. What I mean, we're all young, we're all still learning this league, still, still, still finding ourselves. So it's fun to fun to be with them and just learn with them. Stephen Silas said earlier that you're a gifted, pardon me, a gifted defensive player. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think your strengths are on that end, and mm -hmm. do you think you can contribute to positive basketball? You know, in your first games as a rookie. Um, my strengths, I feel like, I feel like for one, just just my feel for where to be, my feel for when to help, um, my feel for watching film, knowing who to guard. That's just the mental side of it. But I feel like my um, my feet are pretty quick to, to guard smaller defenders. Um, of course, I'm 6'10", probably 6'11". Um, I got a long arm, so that kind of helped me out a little bit. So I would say, say those aspects of it. You've had about two and a half months since summer league in the gym mm -hmm. here and with the coaches here. Are there any elements of your mm -hmm. game that you think have – uh, changed at all over mm -hmm. the last two, two and a half months? Oh, definitely. Um, just just learning the offense, learning where to get my shots from, learning when to attack, um, learning where to be on defense, uh, getting in the weight room, getting stronger. It's like I feel like I'm a whole different player, honestly. So just just working on the weaknesses of my game and, and, and finding my strengths that will ultimately help this team. How much time have you had? How much time have you been able to spend with Alpi on the floor? Mm -hmm. And how do you think your games mesh together? Um, I haven't I haven't been able to spend much time with him on the floor, but the time we have spent, um, it's, it's been fun. Like we're we're still learning each other. We're still figuring out how to play with each other. But we both know that it's still early, and we both know that we're gonna figure it out. So um, just his ability to, to to post up and me to spot up um, off his post up, cut off of it. It's like. It's going to work out. It's going to be fun. From Summer League, how did you see the game, the speed of the game, and how will that adapt to your understanding of how camp goes, preseason goes in the season? Say it one more time, my bad. Just the overall speed of the game from uh -huh. Summer League to now. How do yeah. you see yourself transitioning and mm -hmm. how you think it's going to affect you in camp and preseason? Um, I feel like Summer League, the pace was kind of kind of new to me. Um, but just, just, just playing against my teammates still, Learning the league, watching film, I feel like the pace of the game, the game has slowed down for me so much. And it's just, 
I feel like that's just going to help me when the season starts, and that's just going to help me when, when it's time to get out there and, and produce. Um, I just wanted to go back to something you said a minute ago. You said six mm ten, -hmm. maybe six eleven. Mm -hmm. Are you growing? Have you um, <laughs> I, um, I think I have grown. Honestly, um, my dad thinks I've grown, so um, it's definitely a possibility. I haven't I haven't gotten measured since um, what before the draft, maybe. So it'll be. I, um, I'm real curious to see if I have, but I think I have though. Feeling taller? Yeah, I feel taller. <laughs> So, um, what rookies in the draft are you excited to play against? Um, uh, all of them. You know, what I'm saying just just playing playing against them through high school and all of that. It would be fun to play against them, compete, um, see how much better they've gotten, see what they've learned, and just you know, what I'm saying overall prove prove something and just 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 playing against them would be fun. All of them. I don't got I don't got no specific ones for real. Watching you <laughs> in the summer league, uh, your reputation as a shooter, mm -hmm. and it looked like they got right up on you right away, yep. and you had to adjust your shot a little bit. Do you see that as a problem mm -hmm. when you go into the regular season? The speed of the game mm -hmm. is so much better that you're um, going to have to shoot it a little quicker. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's what I've been working on uh, for these few months. You know, what I'm saying when people are guarding me, getting up closer to me, um, uh, the word around the league is I'm a shooter. You know, people are going to know that. From college, with me shooting 43% from three, you feel me? But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, but, yeah. So, uh, you you know, people know that, and it's like you have to speed up your shot. You have to. It's a it's a different pace. The 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 lines farther. You know, it's just a lot that goes into it. So I just been working on just getting those repetitions up, um, finding different ways to speed up my shot, finding different ways to attack when people are running at you un, uh, out of control. So. It's just different aspects of it, but I've definitely been getting those reps up and, and speeding it up with Coach Lucas and all of that. Jabari, you've been doing a lot of basketball-related stuff leading up to now. What did you do to get away from the game in order mm -hmm. to prepare yourself for the NBA season? Um, uh, chill with teammates, uh, eat in Houston, you know what I'm saying, go around to different restaurants, different places, uh, play the video game. Um, just, just, just getting acclimated to the city. Um, just, just figuring, figuring everything out. You know what I'm saying? Spend a lot of time by yourself, just thinking and and, and preparing yourself for what's what's coming. Uh, long 82 games and and just getting excited for it. Really, you know, that's what I've been doing. Thank you, Jabari. Appreciate y'all.